I have placed the probe <coughs> longitudinally in the epigastric region and uh, you know we do see in this angle the aorta in longitudinal system, the superior mesenteric artery and uh, this is the pancreas white band that you are seeing is the pancreas. Now, what is this area? This cystic area. This is the left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section, normal. So our area of study in this section is this cystic area. Is this a cyst? Is this a vessel? Or is this a lymph node? Now remember first thing that the lymph nodes are never cystic. Now you see this is a cystic area internally clear, black, filled with fluid and uh, is measuring approximately 12.3 into 12.7. Now if this is not a lymph node because lymph nodes are really solid and uh, well demarcated and moreover, this is not the second point, it's not the location for the lymph node. It's something that uh, appears to be relating to the pancreas as this ecogenic band is the pancreas. It has most of the pancreas. I mean, only the inner section. And this, this is the power. So this band, white band around it, is the pancreas. Uh, keeping the vascular anatomy in view, now, I magnified the view. I am going transverse now. I have moved the transfusion transversely in the epigastric region. And uh, here we are. See, this is the impact. This is the transfer section. This is the superior mesenteric vein. This is the splenic vein, the landmark for the identification of the pancreas. And this ecogenic band is uh, the pancreas, the body of the pancreas. These are the bowels. This is the stomach. Uh, sorry, the uh, stomach uh, bowel gases, and this is the aorta. Now, if you see, we cannot separate. I have to, when I move a bit anteriorly, I see this uh, aorta and celiac axis and left gastric artery arising from it, forcing posterior to the cystic area in the head of the pancreas. Here, if I take this view, in this view, though we are seeing the pancreas, but uh, the landmark is not as this is the splenic artery, and the landmark the use is the splenic vein. This is the splenic vein, and this is the pancreas. So this, this in fact, relates to the head of the pancreas. Now the second point is. If this is a uh, vessel, well, all we always give a sweep to the probe, full sweep to the probe whenever we see a cystic area because cysts do not change its shape. Now I'm going to give the sweep to the probe and just concentrate on the cystic area under question and you will see that it is almost retaining its state. <coughs> Sorry, it's state. It's not giving it shit. It is same. Retain its shape, rounded. Here we are. Had it been a vessel, it would have changed its shape. Now, if you, if we remember the ultrasound anatomy, it should be very well clear to us 
that uh, from the in longitudinal section, this is the magnified view, this is the aorta, superior mesenteric artery, celiac artery or celiac axis, supplenic artery. This is the head of the pancreas. This is the head of the pancreas in longitudinal section and this is the cystic area within the head of the pancreas. And uh, the most important point was, first of all its location, second it does not change its shape on uh, rotating the probe. I have given a full sweep now again to see if it changes its shape, it retains its shape. So it's a cyst. The vessel would have changed its shape and become, become longitudinal. So this is the case of cyst in the head of the pancreas, which is an incidental finding of no significance whatsoever. Thank you very much.